Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to be working with this model. It's an abstract model. Let's start it together, but uh, first I want to close this part because it consumes a lot of my system resources. We have a new part. In front plane we create a sketch and here we drop a line. We click line, we click our origin and say midpoint while our control is pressed here we have a length of 80 millimeter and i'm going to create here two circle i click two circle while control is pressed and i make them equal and then i'm giving here a 60 millimeter dimension uh, the other thing that we would like to do first here create a spline We are going to give some relationship, control is pressed, we select two objects and we make tangent and here I'm going to create a tangency of 30, here also a tangency of 30, here I'm going to give a dimension of uh, 10 but I need a helping line for that seems, I click there and I'm going to make it 5 and the last thing we should make this two object vertical simply we can click two point and say vertical didn't work maybe we can remove 5 first and try to make it vertical and here we have a length of 504 it is okay probably something constrained my system Yes, now is good. And later on, I'm going to create here one extra line. I combine this uh, uh, object, which I need for revolve operation. I created the contours where I can select them, and this will be used as a center and an axis of revolution. This is done. And the other thing in the front plane, again creating a sketch, this was a solid. I'm going to create here a line, vertical line. I click line, control is pressed, this two is selected. And we gave a relationship of midpoint, 225 length, this line. On the front plane, I'm going to create a sketch. Again, a line and a line with 80 diameter is good. Now we go surfaces, swap surface. This is our profile, this is our pad, and here options profile, profile twist, specify twist value, and revolutions 0 0.5. This seems okay, and we can change in this way direction also. Now, what's good to have an axis? I click origin, I click top plane, and when this both object is selected, if I go axis, program will automatically select them as a reference selections. And I do have here an axis. Here I'm going to make a taken operation, no merge result, 1.5, and operation is done. Later on, Circular pattern, three time copy. This body will be copied and it is all right. We can hide revolve and we can combine them at first. Now we have a group of surfaces. It's good. Now we are going to cut them with some length. Uh, top plane is selected. I click plane and at 105 I'm placing a plane later on I'm coming surfaces cut with surface change direction I do cut my model with a plane simple the thing that I'm doing here is that top plane is selected again a plane now the other direction and 
cut with surface. I'm doing this because of uh, showing you a nav command. Simply we could cut with a sketch also. Now as I will do. Later on I do cut my model with a diameter 80 and it is great on top plane. We go to extrude cut, flip side to cut to all both. Now inside of my sketch will be protected and outside of sketch will be cut. And then what I got, I have such a thing. Now we can go on front plane. We can hide at least this one for now on front plane, creating a sketch and this line or we can hide it. It's 105. We are going to create a line. The length of this line will be 105. And then later on we create here a line and a spline. Now I'm going to a little bit play with my spline control points. This object is selected, vertical line selected, we say parallel. Here also same applies. We select this object, we select this line and say parallel. Normally I have a habit to create a line and then making tangent this same operation. In fact, there is no any difference between two. Here also a line and this will be used as a mirroring axis. We have here a diameter of 50. We have here a depth of 20. And tangency values was 50, I think. 50 by 50. And the mirror entities, this object selected. And this object also copied. Now we can show, cut extrude. Click our sketch, revolve and select this axis. Now this guy will be cut. We have two different body. Uh, take care of it. I will explain why I did that. Uh, let's create a radius on the edges. Maybe one and a half. Surface will not be selected. On the edge, this edge, this edge. Normally, I'm doing a fillet operation at the end, but sometimes it is good to complete earlier because your model is looking nice. Okay, we will make it one. I think we are quite small. Okay, something is going wrong. We are going to do it differently. Clear selection. Each edge will be selected individually. Yes, let's place one. And these guys also want to be placed, I think, separately. sometimes hard to understand problem. If your logic says for something that should be working, try it differently, it will work. This is my long uh, time experience. Okay, I really don't understand what is wrong here. Yeah, let it, let it stay. I'm not going to dive into. And we have this model. Now most exciting part, exciting part is uh, completing our most important feature, revolved surface here on front plane. I'm going to create a sketch, convert first sketch. And these areas are removed at the end what I'm going to have, something like this on the screen you see. Surfaces, revolve surface. I created here a surface on front plane. 
a sketch a line exactly at the height of our uh, this object and then again a line on front plane and I'm going to create here one more line now swap surface length and options twist failure revolutions let's make it 50 and see how it is looking or 40 I don't remember how much was it in the earlier model that I made and then we have two surface bodies one at the center this body let's make different color to make it clear for you and one the outside that we create with the swap operation now we go under sketch intersection curves simply we select all the act surfaces that we see on the screen and we say program ok and at the end program going to create of create for me an intersection serves okay, uh, curves here as you see and on this right plane I'm going to create a 3 millimeter diameter circle and placed here exactly at the center of this line now what can be good to create a composite curve selecting all our curve which we got from 3d curves 3d uh, intersection curves sorry solid body is active and I'm going to under swap cut this is my uh, profile and this will be my object uh, as a pad and all bodies will be cut the, uh, the, the two balls and this section and the outer section both will be uh, cut it. they are not combined don't forget it now we will understand why I made it like that some decisions makes a lot of sense when you model some things you know I wanna put really nice here some uh, uh, fillet in fact that was the main reason now because of these two different bodies not combined I can easily select all this group of uh, surfaces without having any problem in fact two edge and I do select all cutted area if I will be combine them with this body then I will get problem all edges will be uh, separately here now we get a problem we are going to look into it I think we have some uh, problem with our fillet size I lowered it and try again it should work now or we are going to decrease the size of cut takes a bit time sorry for letting you wait I paused video to not let you wait but simply we created here some small radiuses after this operation we are now at the last phase that we are going to create our balls in this phase if you want you can uh, start to give some color to your model or defining from here material to make it look nice now the last operation will be creating here on the white plane a sketch and exactly on the point where our curve starts creating a ball with three millimeter diameter I'm going to make piers here and define here at three diameter and then I do at a line center line as a center line we will use for revolve 
and here I'm going to complete my sketch it's a little bit slow now because of so much surfaces in this model even for this simple operation my computer waits yes sketch is done we are going to make revolve this will be axis no merge result guys and we close simply revolve operation here and after I'm going to um, copy it with curve operation and then operation will be uh, the model will be done operation is done now we can give a color to this body which we are going to copy I made it red and we got curve driven pattern and then composite curve is selected bodies will be last body that we created revolve simply and we are going to make equal spacing 80 copy will be there we don't need to define something extra I believe and options yes will be 300 number of copies uh, line to see transform curve will be active sorry and I just select that and then after will be all right I'm going to pause again video because my computer really gets so slow yes now it is uh, we have some uh, preview and we will just say OK and finalize the operation. Sorry for the inconvenience because of my computer. Yeah, it, it is kind of really much surfaced and it uh, uh, too much bodied uh, parts, creating some problem on my old computer. But I think message is clear. Every step is, I hope, for you clear. It's an abstract model. I don't uh, think it's really manufacturable. If you improve a little bit, can be manufacturable in 3D printings. But it, this video contains a lot of uh, useful skills for a beginner. Beginner uh, in terms of developing your uh, understanding of our program, Solver program. That's that's why I prepared this video. I think you will learn a lot. If you like my video, please hit the like button and make a comment. Uh, keep in touch and I will always try to prepare better uh, tutorials for you and I will just stop again for a while to wait my program finalize operation and then we close yes we got our model this was what we were trying to reach and have uh, thanks for watching if you like, you can make some differences. For example, you can copy much more instances. You can make this body uh, thicker, for example. Also, what I would recommend to me to decrease the number of, of uh, helixes here. I realize here we have really uh, uh, less width between two ball. In my original model, it was a little bit thicker, and I think I made like a 30 instances, 30 revolutions, and that will make it really uh, make our model really nice. You can define here material and other properties. It will look like a really nice model. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in another video.